Hello and welcome to episode 70 of the Anger Secrets podcast. As always, I'm your host, Alistair Dews, and over the last 30 years, I've had the privilege of helping over 15,000 men and women to control their anger, master their emotions, and create calmer, happier, and more loving relationships. Today, I want to dive into both a very simple but powerful topic. This topic relates to behaviors that often go unnoticed in relationships, but have a massive impact on the success or failure of any relationship. These behaviors are so important that I call these behaviors the hidden killers of relationships. Before we dive into these behaviors, however, let me remind you that if you are struggling with anger issues, you are not alone. Anger is a normal emotion that everyone experiences. But when your anger becomes destructive, or if you lose your temper at those around you, then it's time to take action. That's why I have developed a range of resources designed to help you control your anger and create calmer, happier, and more respectful relationships. The most powerful of these resources is my tried, tested, and proven online anger management coaching program called the Complete Anger Management System. The Complete Anger Management System will teach you all the tools, techniques, and strategies you need to control your anger in any situation, usually in just a few weeks or less. The Complete Anger Management System includes over seven hours of video content, interactive exercises, quizzes, and trainings designed specifically to help you control your anger and improve your relationships. To learn more about this life-changing coaching program, visit my website, angersecrets.com. With that said, let's get back to our topic for today, the hidden killers of relationships revealed. Now, as mentioned, relationship killers are the subtle, often overlooked habits many people unconsciously engage in. Over time, these relationship killers can erode trust, intimacy, and ultimately, the loving and caring bond you share with your partner. One of the most powerful contributors to understanding these relationship killers is Dr. John Gottman, a renowned psychologist and relationship researcher I have discussed previously on this podcast. According to Gottman, there are four common behaviors that over time will quietly destroy any relationship. These relationship killers are number one, criticism, number two, defensiveness, number three, contempt, and number four, stonewalling. Let's look at each of these relationship killers in more detail. Number one, criticism. As you probably know, criticism is when you attack or blame your partner's personality or character or put them down in any way. Common examples of criticism in a relationship include saying things like, you're so lazy, or you never listen to me. To understand criticism more, it is important to know that criticism is not the same as complaining about your partner. We all have complaints about our partners. For example, you may think that your partner doesn't listen to you enough. Or perhaps you think that your partner is too messy or too forgetful. These are just normal relationship complaints about specific behaviours that can be addressed and resolved. Criticism, on the other hand, goes straight for the jugular. It attacks who your partner is rather than what they do. For example, while saying, you don't listen to me enough is a complaint, saying, you never listen to me because you are selfish and only care about yourself, is an obvious example of criticism. Criticism in a relationship is so destructive as it implies that you have an issue with who your partner is as a person. And as with all of these relationship killers, while it may seem harmless enough in the short term, excessive criticism over time will destroy your relationship. Number two, defensiveness. The next hidden killer of relationships is defensiveness. Again, as you probably know, Defensiveness is when you respond to your partner's complaints or criticism with excuses, justifications, 
or counterattacks. Some common examples of defensiveness include saying things such as, it's not my fault, or you always blame me. While defensiveness is a natural reaction to feeling attacked or criticised, it unfortunately only serves to escalate conflicts in relationships. If you would like to overcome your tendency to become defensive, listen to episode 67 of this podcast, where I discuss how to stop being so defensive in a relationship. Number three, contempt. The third hidden killer of relationships is contempt. Contempt is when you express a lack of respect for your partner through sarcasm, cynicism, or hostile humor. It also can include eye-rolling, mocking, or using overly critical tones in your communication. Contempt often arises from feelings of superiority and can be extremely damaging to relationships. In fact, Gottman's research has shown that expressing contempt for your partner is the single greatest predictor of divorce or relationship breakdown. If you notice any tendency to express contempt towards your partner, it is vital that you take steps to change this behavior immediately. Number four, stonewalling. The final hidden killer of relationships is stonewalling. Stonewalling refers to shutting down or withdrawing from communication or refusing to engage in conversations. Common examples of stonewalling in relationships include giving your partner the silent treatment, avoiding difficult discussions, or physically leaving the room during an argument. Stonewalling is often a result of feeling overwhelmed with emotions, but it leads to further disconnection and communication breakdown in relationships. To overcome any tendencies towards stonewalling in your relationship, it is important to learn how to manage your emotions and stay present during difficult conversations. There are many tools to help you do this that I discuss in other episodes of this podcast or in detail in the Complete Anger Management System. Okay, so there you have it, the four hidden killers of relationships. These are criticism, defensiveness, contempt, and stonewalling. Understanding these behaviours and actively working to avoid them can significantly improve your relationship and create a more positive, loving, and respectful dynamic. More importantly, according to Gottman, each of these behaviours has an antidote, or a more constructive alternative. For example, the antidote for criticism is to make specific complaints. As an example, Instead of saying, you never listen to me, you could say, when I'm talking, could you please put down your phone and make eye contact with me? It would really make me feel heard and loved. This shift in communication style can make a big difference to the quality of your relationship. The antidote for defensiveness is to take responsibility for your part in any conflict. Listen to your partner's perspective and validate their feelings. This helps to de-escalate situations and promote understanding and empathy between partners. For example, instead of saying things such as, it's not my fault, you could say, I can see how my actions have made you upset. I'm sorry for that, and I want to understand your perspective more. The antidote for contempt is to practice appreciation, build a culture of mutual respect in your relationship, and use humour in a positive way. Instead of mocking or using sarcasm, try to find ways to show genuine appreciation for your partner's qualities and efforts. For example, you could say, thank you for always making me laugh, or I admire your determination and hard work. Finally, the antidote for stonewalling is to practice self-soothing techniques, such as using positive self-talk or taking a time out to calm down before continuing a difficult conversation. This allows you to take responsibility for your own emotions and communicate more effectively with your partner. In future episodes, I will dive deeper into each of these behaviours and their antidotes. For now, however, take a moment to reflect on these four hidden relationship killers 
and their antidotes in your own relationship. Are there any behaviours that you could work on changing? Can you see how making these changes can improve the quality of your relationship? With conscious effort and practice, you can create a healthier dynamic and break free from these destructive patterns. Remember too that awareness is key to changing almost anything. Try to notice any times when you are engaging in these destructive relationship behaviours and make a conscious effort to use the antidote instead. Finally, let's link these four relationship killers to anger. It's no secret that you will be more likely to engage in these four relationship killers if you are feeling angry or resentful towards your partner. This is just one reason why controlling your anger is so important in relationships. It helps you avoid these destructive patterns and communicate more effectively with your partner. It's also a major reason why communication skills are so important in any relationship. The better you are at communicating what is going on for you with your partner, the less likely you are to fall into these destructive patterns and the happier and more loving your relationship will be. That's why I discuss both these topics in detail in the Complete Anger Management System. In fact, by completing this powerful online coaching program, you will learn how to communicate effectively and manage your anger in a positive way. And best of all, most of my clients get results in just a few weeks or less. To learn more about the Complete Anger Management System, visit my website at angersecrets.com. Okay, that's all for today's episode on the four hidden killers of your relationship. If you found this episode helpful, please follow this podcast or head over to your favorite podcast app and leave a rating and review. This will help other people struggling with anger to find and benefit from this show. Also, for help with your anger right now, visit my website, angersecrets.com. And finally, remember, you can't control other people, but you can control yourself. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. The Anger Secrets Podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of counseling, psychotherapy, or any other professional health service. No therapeutic relationship is implied or created by this podcast. If you have mental health concerns of any type, please seek out the help of a local mental health professional.